Hey, this is BuilderDude35 here. I'm back with the final portion on programming steering systems with an EV3. In this fourth part, I'm going to be teaching you how to compress each of the four programs that you've made in the last three videos into my blocks, and then how to use those to write your own RC program. So first, how we, how we uh, put them into my blocks, what you're going to do is you're going to go into the corner here. Well, after you zoomed out so you can see your whole program, you're going to click and then you're going to drag this over here and you're going to highlight it over the entire program. But make sure you do not highlight the start block, okay? So after you've highlighted everything that needs to be turned into a my block, you're going to go up to tools as soon as it comes up. Tools, then go to my block builder. You're going to name your my block. This is my return to center, so I'm going to name it return underscore center. And then you're going to give it some kind of picture. It really doesn't matter what you uh, what picture you put. And then after that, you don't need to bother with any parameters. So then you're just going to click finish, and voila, your your my block uh, your program has been compressed into a my block. And what you're going to do is you're going to do back, go back and do that for every of the other three programs that you've made. Now, I'm not going to bore you with that. Uh, since you just watched me do it, you can now do it yourself. Okay, so guys, now I've finished putting all four of those programs that we've made in the past uh, videos. And I've compressed them all into my blocks, as you'll see down here. And so now we're going to open up a fresh program. And we're going to... Right now, we're, you're going to open up this teal tab here, and this is going to show you the my blocks that we've made. We have return to center, we have steer in center, we have steer right, and we have steer left. All the hard work is done, so now you just need to drag the my blocks to where they need to go. So, the first my block you're going to use is steer center, and that's going to go in the very beginning. And then you're going to drag out a loop, a loop block here. And you're going to make sure the loop is set to infinity, which is the default. Now you're going to take a switch block out. And you're going to uh, change it from the touch sensor to the infrared sensor. You're going to measure the remote. Now the ports and the channels don't matter. Just make sure it matches to whatever you're doing. Now this is important. You're going to set this right here which has none of the buttons uh, labeled, that's going to be your default case because that tells the robot when you're not pressing any buttons on your remote control not to do anything. So what you want to do is when you're not steering, every time, in every case that you're not going to be steering, you're going to be putting the return to center block in here. So in the, in the blank case you're going to be doing that, and then this is going to be your drive forward case. Up. So anyway, back to the neutral case, you're also going to tell your drive motors, which I'm going to uh, assume are the, is the move tank, that's what I would use. What you're going to do is you're going to turn this off. So now, when you're not pressing any buttons, the robot will stop driving and the steering will center. Now in this case, this is your forward case, so you're going to go to um, actions, and you're going to tell your robot to turn its motors on. And right now we're going to assume that a positive number of a uh, positive power value is going to be forward. This is not always the case. You need to just uh, try and see which is forward and which is back. But for now we're assuming positive is forward. So I'm just going to leave it as, as 75. You can change it to whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. So now what we're going to need to do is we're going to click this add case button a few times. So we're actually going to need to click it seven times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're going to scroll down and set each case for the controller. So we already have the stop case and the forward case. Now we're going to do the reverse case. And so for the reverse case, you're going to do the same thing as you did with the forward case. The motor's turned on, except now you're going to have the same power number now in reverse, the negative. So we use 75 above, now we use negative 75. We're going to go back to my blocks, and we're going to put the return to center block back in. Because we're not steering here, we're just driving backward. 
we're going to scroll down. This next case is going to be the steer right case. When you press this button, it's the, the robot's not going to drive forward or backward. So we're going to hit click off. And then what it's going to do is it's while the robot is stopped, it's just going to steer the wheels to the right. So we're going to drag out the steer right my block. Down here, the case that we're now going to choose is steer left, which is the same thing as what we just did above. Uh, the same motor power, which is zero, so the, the drive motors are stopped. Except now, of course, we're going to have it steer in the opposite direction, the left direction. So you're going to drag your steer left my block out. Down here, we have this case. This is going to tell the robot to drive forward and steer right simultaneously. So you're going to drag out your steer right my block, and then you're going to take your move tank my block, and you're going to have, uh, you're going to have it so it's set to on, and it's to whatever positive power value you desire. Um, oh, another thing to make sure is that if your race car that you're building has hard coupled motors, which means the two drive motors that you're using are rigidly connected with a shaft, always make sure that you do not have uh, two differing amounts of power because you could break the axle that's in between them. Just a little thing you needed to know. Alright, so then the next case is this case, which is tell the robot to drive forward and to steer left. So you're going to drag out the uh, motors again, the tank motors. You're going to turn them on. Now we're still driving forward, so we're going to keep that positive. And now we're steering left, so you're going to drag your steer left my block. Now we have two left to go. We have the, the next case is if you're driving in reverse and steering to the right. So you're going to dry, drag out your steer right my block. Then in the actions menu, you're going to take your motors. You're going to click on. And now since we're going in reverse, you're going to change your power value, whatever it is you're using, to, the, to negative. Remember, we're assuming that negative is reverse, but that's not always the case. Okay, so now we have the last case. We're going to select it. This is going to be case um, 8, correct? And um, so we're going to drag out our motors, turn them on, negative power, because this is a reverse case. Now what this case is doing is telling the robot to drive in reverse and steer left at the same time. So we have it set to drive to reverse, and now just pull out your steer left my block. So in the end, this is what your program is going to look like. It's very long depth wise, uh, but there isn't that much to it. So basically what it is in the beginning, your steering center's here, then it enters this loop and will never leave. And so what's going to happen is it's going to read one of these nine cases. And d depending on what you're using on your controller, what buttons you're pressing, it's going to perform those cases. And that's where you get your RC functions, the throttle and the steering. So I hope this video tutorial was helpful. If you liked it, if you want to see more video tutorials like this, please like or subscribe or uh, send me a comment in the comments section below. Or if you have any suggestions, for any building tutorials you need me to teach you. Um, until next week, this is BuilderDude35 signing off. This concludes this weekend's building tutorial. I will be returning next week with uh, hopefully how to use the, the degree sensor in the motor to make accurate, um, yeah, sorry about that, to make accurate precise distances. This is going to be very useful for all those FLL teams out there. So stay tuned if you want more.